So we see the church. What do we do? What is our response to the work of Christ? Well, the response to the work of Christ is the word we call worship. All right? Worship is, we kind of been doing this so far today. We've been praying and praising, declaring the glory of God, declaring his nature, declaring our heart towards him. That's what we've been doing so far today with prayer, with songs. That's what we've been doing. Worship is part of our vertical response back to God. And there's some things that are in there. And what we see, though, is, is the heart of their worship, the heart of the why. You, you caught it there, guys. And I made you repeat it. What was the word that Luke used to describe their hearts? They did all that they did with joyful and what kind of hearts? Oh, Y'all are paying attention. Sincere hearts. You know what that means? They meant it. They wanted to. They weren't doing these things because I'm like, you know, my mom's dragging me or, or you know, I got to do it because I don't want my wife to be, you know. Or they didn't do any of these things. All of this activity, the why behind it, the why behind who they were, the why behind what they were doing, the why behind who and how, all of that, their why was a genuine and sincere response to the love of God. It was sincere. Now, none of us like to be, you know, fake, right? You, you don't like that. If somebody gives you a gift and, and they're, they're doing things, a kind of way to butter you up, parents already know, we got that bull crap radar, right? When they're already acting kind of way, I'm like, something, I'm small, right? Okay? I, I appreciate the love and the, you know, but what do you want, right? And so we know that. You know, we know when, when spouses are like that, when your friends are like that. We know when, when somebody just be a kind of way and, they, and then be all fakey fakes, right? And, uh, like, no one hate, everybody hates when they're fake, right? We all hate fake people. And so here, these people, they're sincere. They're real. This is coming from a raw place because these individuals, this church, and every true Christian from that point on to today, and even all the faith heroes of the Old Testament, their faith was sincere because they truly believed that there was a God who loved them and that they were hopeless, undeserving, unearning of that love, and God still loved and welcomed and accepted them. This is gratefulness. This is what worship is. Worship is ascribing worth to something. It is saying, and, and it's, again, it's sincere, it is unashamed. This is what this church was, and that is what our vertical relationship with God should be. When we sing songs, it's not because we want to, it's not because we have to, it's because we want to. We don't spend time in prayer and in, you know, in community together. We don't show up and, and do things like church and, and log on or show up because we have to. No, it's because we want to because of what Jesus has done. Did you see that? That's the heart of it all. This is coming from a true, grateful place. God had saved their souls and forgiven them of their sins, and they were forever grateful. That's why they were full with joy. It was the why behind all that they did. And it should be the same for us today, guys. If your why behind all of your activity, even your religious activity, is not because Jesus died on the cross and loved me and forgave me and accepted me, if that's not your why, you're off. Something's not right. The why should be worship. It should be all of that gratitude toward what God has done. This is why Paul says, I am unashamed of the gospel. I am unashamed of telling people. I'm ashamed. I'm not ashamed of saying that I'm a believer in Christ. I'm not ashamed to tell you that God loves you. I'm not ashamed to tell you that you were a sinner just like me in need of a savior. And if you call on his name, he will say, I'm not afraid to tell you that. Because... I, it changed my life, and I wanted to change yours. Even though that you might not like it or hear, but I'm not ashamed of it. Why? Because he truly, and we've encountered a God who really, what? Loves us. And we're proud of that, man. We, we, rep, we rep so much, man. You know, some of us, we rep our nationalities, our teams, our, 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 our hobbies. We rep so much, unashamed. Listen. Okay, you can't be a Dolphins fan without having to deal with disappointment, all right? That's me, all right? But I'm still unashamed, you're right or not. All right, if we can be so unashamed of things like that, how much more should we, we should be unashamed of the one who bore our shame on the cross? That's why we're called to do. If, if we can be unashamed, proud of all these little things that don't matter, we should be unashamed of the one who bore our shame on the cross. And because of him, we have new 